You guys are play fighting or what? She she nibbles on my hand. <laughs> In the meantime, I move it around and she she she's just jumping around. <laughs> she loves it, right? Give me lick, give me lick, good girl, <laughs> good girl, <laughs> little you... It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Careful what you wish for, I guess, because <laughs> I said that it doesn't look very wintry outside, and look at the weather today. It's very, very, very snowy. It snowed overnight. I didn't even realize it snowed and then I woke up and there's just a ton of snow on the ground. But it's very pretty and the perfect kind of weather to just stay in. Look at all these white rooftops with the snow, the evergreens in the background. Very pretty. So good night, you guys. And there's Luna. She's still this morning on a mission to hide her tree. I saw her, she took it out of her hiding spot and then she wanted me to pick her up and now she's hiding it again. Good job, Luna. Look at how festive my breakfast is, guys. I have my cappuccino in my little Santa mug. And then I have this little bake wall tart on our new nutcracker plates. How cute is this? <laughs> You're so cozy in the morning. Yes, you are. You're comfy cozy. Hoping to get a little snack, right? Hoping to get a little breakfast snack this morning. Juliana? Oh, and Julie gave you a little piece of oatmeal. There's no sugar in these oats, it's just water and oats. So, Oh, it's healthy for Luna. It's a healthy snack. Okay, that's a lot of oatmeal for Luna. Well, she's gonna have a nice bowel movement today. <laughs> oh, wow. She's gonna do a little poops today. Jules and I are making some guacamole today and look at how, well, look at how small I was gonna say, but these are actually average size avocados, but not when you see this baby. <laughs> look at the size difference. Where was this one from again? Caribbean. Itself. Oh yeah, this is a Caribbean avocado and Jules was telling me that it just basically is like a regular avocado, except it holds its shape a little bit better because it has like- Less fat. Less fat, I guess. It's so more watery. Yeah, so it really stays like thick and chunky as opposed to super creamy like this one. So. I might have to use this because this is getting soft, but if I need a little bit more, I'm gonna add one of these in. So I'm just in the process of making my guac. I put some cherry tomatoes inside that I cut up, and now to not have too much liquid because I already have two whole limes and all their juices in there, I took out the liquid, so as I cut them out, I just squeezed out a little bit of the tomato caviar, if you will. So <laughs> I'm going to empty this out, but look how much is just in a couple little cherry tomatoes. So that's a tip for you guys if you want tomatoes, but you don't want all that juice. So there you go guys, it's not very festive, but it actually looks like Christmas with the colors of green and red. So in this guacamole I did, as you can see, avocados, two limes, there was about five avocados plus one big one. But I think I used about maybe half of that big one because it was a little bit brown. So then I used two limes, I used a handful of cherry tomatoes without the juice inside, I used a little bit of cilantro, maybe like a handful. I used one small red onion, and then I did one large clove of garlic all minced up, and then you add some salt and pepper and a little bit of extra true lime if you guys have it. This stuff is amazing. We get this off of Amazon. It's so good. It's basically just crystallized 100% lime for that extra lime flavor. It's so good. Mix it all together. You can add a little bit of spice if you'd like, and there you have it. I know a lot of people either love or hate cilantro, so that is optional. I often, if I'm making it for parties, don't put cilantro because not a lot of people like it, but for me at home, I love it. And there you go, a delicious, healthy guacamole. <laughs> bon appetit! Thank you. You're welcome. Honestly, isn't it the best part about Christmas pre-Christmas? Like, everything leading up to Christmas is always the most fun, and then Christmas, even Christmas Day is kind of like, you're so busy running around and making sure that you see everyone that you have to see and you do everything that you have to do, if you cook or prep or whatever. It's kind of like the more stressful part about Christmas. So for me, my favorite part about Christmas is pre-Christmas, doing fun things, running silly little errands, like even going to a mall and having it look festive or like go finding a little cute farmer's market or something like that and just being festive. I just highly recommend doing festive things now, before Christmas, that way you feel super cozy. Make that eggnog, make that hot chocolate, drink that mulled wine, do whatever you guys have to do to feel really festive and fun because 
Christmas doesn't last very long and it's like, it's incredible. Under time, Jules and I are cozy by the fireplace doing our advent calendars. This is my favorite part of the day, so I hope you guys like this too. Chocobon number nine, Kinder. Next, let's do Ferrero. <gasps> yes! <laughs> the moment I have been waiting for. Pure. Pure. The Pièce de Resistance, yeah, my favorite, uh, Biancoretti. Uh, Biancoretti. Biancoretti, because it's Bianco, white chocolate. Mmm, I love you, Ferrero. Right, That's my right. chocolates favoris. My best advent calendar, I would say, let's because it's the most one. versatile. Ooh. Ooh, let's see, I gotta flip it. Pecan pie. <gasps> Ooh, oh, look how nice that looks. Mine pecan looks pie, good. caramel, fleur de sel, caramelized pecan pieces, and organic maple sugar from Quebec. Okay, so this is my beloved Biancoretti. Let's give it a taste. This is your first time having it? Mm-hmm, this year. <laughs> <laughs> my first time this year, wow, wow. guys. Just as good as I remember. There's little crunchy pieces of like, mm, like sugary caramelized almonds. And then it's this like almondy white cream inside. It's so delicious. If you love marzipan and things like that, you will love this. Ah, uh, cozy. Let's have a bite of pecan pie by the fire, guys. <laughs> Mm, this one is good. And I didn't even bite the pecan mm. nut yet. You did it? No. I'm gonna bite it now. It's so good, guys. Mmm. 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 Oh, we filled the cushion one. Mmm. She went to Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Come on. And a pie tree, in a pear tree. <laughs> oh, she's excited. Okay, I pick you up. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, share the oh, love. That's so cute. I don't know if this is, um, let's see the back actually. Luna came to supervise. <laughs> Hi, little one. She's gonna smell this. Let's see. Oh, I think this one is the milk chocolate hugged by white cream. I'm excited, Jesus. <laughs> You're so excited. You're oh, excited too. Mm. Cool. This one is quite nice as well. Yummy. Enjoy, Jules. Are you waiting for Santa Claus to come to town? Where is Santa? Where is Santa? Is he coming? Where is Santa? Is he coming, Santa Claus? Is he bringing you a nice present? What are you going to ask for Santa? I know. You're going to ask for a real bone and your, more of your dog treats. Come on. You can walk. <laughs> Panettone by the Christmas tree. See, it's very pretty with these candied fruits. It looks really nice. This is just your classic panettone. Hopefully during this vlogmas, we'll be opening many more panettones and we'll have some exciting flavors. Maybe like a nice pistachio cream. Cream. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like a nice crema di pistacchio, which is a pistachio cream. You say it like I know. I know. It's hard to switch from an Italian word to an English word. It's like pistacchio cream. You just want to say it with an accent, but yeah. So this looks really delicious. Bon appetit. Today we are doing another sister day. I feel like lately all we're doing are sister days, but I think it's fun and I think you guys like to see my sisters as well. Speaking of which, oh my God. Ah. Well, you know what? It is the holidays and we're kind of just like, always going out to grab like last minute little things for gifts for people yeah. and returning things, yes. getting things. It's just kind of like that hectic time of year. Mm -hmm. So what else can we do? What can we do really? <laughs> well, other than shop. And I said that we're probably going to be meeting up with my friend Anna again. Oh yeah, so that's cute. She might be meeting us at the mall because we actually haven't done this, but I'm like, you might as well, like, we might as well see each other at the mall since we're not like hanging out. <laughs> at least we'll have masks on, though we talk every day. It's like, it's different. <laughs> we got a little Grinch under there. She made herself a little cozy nook. Guys, I honestly think chihuahuas are, <laughs> I think they're truly like foxes. If you search fennec fox, they look identical to them. They have the same mannerisms and they're like a little bit skittish, kind of like the fennec foxes. Chihuahuas just have these little temperamental issues all the time. And I think that's how foxes are. They're like little, a little bit skittish, a little bit jittery. And that's kind of how my chihuahua is, my little angel. I wonder if they're, she wants to cuddle. I wonder if they're as cuddly. Oh, she got so excited that I sat on the bed with her. This is typical Luna when she sees me dressed and ready to go. She just puts on the charm. She acts extra cute so that I feel really guilty. But thankfully Nikita's here. He's working from home so I can just leave her with him. I actually really like this sweater that I got from Shein. It's super cute. All they had left at the time because they were running out was a size small. Otherwise, I think I might have even sized up. But to be honest, this is actually a perfect size small. It's cozy so it's actually 
really fits nice. I feel like it's true to size or even a little bit more generous, which is really nice. And today we are going to be running some errands with my sisters. I know you guys like when I do things with my sisters. So there you go. I feel like there's just a lot of last minute things that I have to do before the holidays and that always involves running errands or running around. Maybe we're going to be decorating gingerbread houses coming up in a few vlogs from now, so stay tuned. So we also have to get some little extra ingredients for that as well. We're just gonna be doing some simple errands and I'm gonna hopefully be taking you guys along with me just in case we do anything festive and cute like that. I hope you guys like that kind of content. Goodness, you're stunning. You're stunningly beautiful. You're stunningly beautiful. I love you, my sweet little buttercup. My sweet little buttercup. <laughs> Christmassy, but I was dying of thirst, guys. I was so thirsty. How cute is this candy store? They have all of these nostalgic and like limited edition candies. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Mm. For Daniel. How cute is that? How cute. What else should I get him? Daniel mm. loves. Yeah, a lot of these are from the UK. Oh my gosh, I love crunchy. Mm. Wow, this is a good advertisement for Vimo and Indigo. <laughs> So pretty. Right now we're walking to this outdoor little food truck market. They're like food trucks from all over so it looks actually really cute. So let's take a look. Okay, so here are all these food vendors, these little food trucks. It looks actually really cute and festive for the holiday. So let's see if we're gonna pick something up for the guys or not. Okay guys, so for Nikita's dinner tonight, since he is Mr. Gluten-Free, I'm getting him tacos, baja, pulled pork, and chicken tinga. And they batter the fish in a gluten-free batter as well, which is really nice. So I'm very excited to try this and support a local restaurant, which is super cute. And there's Jen, waiting at the Turo food truck for Dan. <laughs> support your local businesses, guys. Yeah. so cute. Yeah, can't wait to eat it. <laughs> it's actually not that cold today, surprisingly, so this is the perfect day to do this kind of food truck it's outdoor thing. very mild, considering. We're enjoying it. Yeah. Mm, that looks delicious. Oh my god, Jen got him a Brazilian mm. steak sandwich. Sandwich with cheese, and there's onion rings, and fries. Yummy. And, and again, if there wasn't three onion rings yet, I would take one. And it me. comes with <laughs> mushrooms, but he didn't want them, so he gave them to me on the side. Oh, that's mm. Because Dan doesn't like mushrooms, he's nuts. Wow. Neither does Attic. <laughs> And these are the tacos, guys. I got chicken tinga, I got pulled pork, and then I got the Baja fish tacos. They look super shows. yummy. Yeah, they're all gluten-free. They even batter it with gluten-free, so it's delicious. Mmm, smells so good. And that's a little mild salsa. Mild, very mild. Aha! Aha! Uh, I got tricked. Julia! <laughs> Julia's boyfriend is never in the vlogs! <laughs> this is the only way we can get him in a vlog. Babe, I'm gonna have to do this with Aha! you, too. I couldn't read the whole vlog. Yeah. When you're gonna you're not ruining it with your face. <laughs> it's that time of the day. It's advent calendar time. I already know this is a little tiny baby. But you know what guys? You can't go wrong with Kinder, even though these ones are a little bit repetitive. Kinder is just good all the time. Oh, that was day number nine. <laughs> Why am I so out of it today? I don't know guys. Okay. Day number ten. Ferrero. Ferrero. <gasps> Mmm, Toroncino. I'm so excited. I really like these ones. These ones are probably the most exciting. It's a really good collection of Ferrero. I absolutely love these. How cute is this little Hershey's Kisses? You know, I'm so glad that I spent the $3 and got this because it's bringing me a lot of joy and they're very, very cute. And the fact that you get two kisses in each one, its that's what kissing is all about, right? Uh, can we give you two kisses too? You're gonna be happy with the two kisses. Is it cream? Cookies and cream. Yum. Here you go. You see how I'm setting this one? <laughs> Yours, Yours is coming soon, dear. Oh, fast forward. It says, keep on giving, and I literally gave Julia a kiss, so you there you this? go. Why are we so hyper after the mall? I don't know, I feel. <laughs> oh my god, I was waiting for this one. Okay, this one Nikita, is. Nikita, this one's for you. Lemon amaretto. White chocolate ganache with lemon it's puree and amaretto from Quebec. Wow. Don't okay. put in my yelling, please. <laughs> <laughs> how could I not? You're yelling over me. I remember guys, everything, everything is from Quebec, which is really I need sad. to have a bite, even though I said yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. Hey guys, so this is white chocolate mm, ganache with mm. lemon puree and amaretto from Quebec. That is lovely. Mm. Oh my god, Nikita, you'll love this one. Wow, this just looks really visually appealing right now, doesn't it? <laughs> 
Yummy. And we got a little somebody waiting for some. You cannot have. Okay, Luna, number 10. Okay, Luna, you gotta promise to chew this time because you never chew. Sit. Give me the paw. Give me the paw. Okay. There you go. Chew nicely, okay? Nice. Chew. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> You're behind me. <laughs> Don't speak up at me. So guys, I just got home. I'm so exhausted. I'm literally pooped. I just want to change into my pajamas now and basically get ready for bed and get ready to settle down for the night. You can see Nikita in the background playing his little, I always call it Nintendo, <laughs> playing his little PS5. So yeah, I'm just gonna get very comfortable, settle in for the night. And I hope you guys enjoyed these vlogs. This was two days in one because yesterday was very uneventful and I thought it was really cute going to the food market. We really enjoyed the tacos. We had a fun little time shopping. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this vlogmas series so far. And the days are only going to be getting more festive from here on out. So subscribe so you don't miss out on my daily vlogs. Thank you for watching guys. Bye! Happy Vlogmas! Day 10 and 9.